Hey everyone, how's it going in this video? I'm going to try to play Roblox on PC and laptop, an updated version of my original video. This will be the Roblox PC control, so it's going to get started. The first thing you're going to learn is how to get your character to walk around on Roblox. So you're going to be using the WASD keys, okay? So the W key will move you up forward, move you up like this, and then the S key will bring you back down or go backwards, so you get the idea. And then, so W up, S is down, and then the A key will move you to the left, and then the D key will move you to the right, okay? So pretty easy to learn, doesn't take long. Now the arrow keys on your keyboard might work the same as WASD, so it could be an alternative for you, but it might not work the same. So the up arrow moves you up, the down arrow moves you down, but the side arrows might just move around your camera. So it might not work as good as WASD, but just keep in mind that the arrow keys might work as well as WASD to walk around your character in game. But yeah, that's how you use those. Now, another thing to learn is how to use shift lock in the game. So you just press the shift key and it'll toggle the shift lock. Now you might have to enable this for your settings. So open up the settings and make sure the shift lock switch is on and you can do that with the shift key so that's how you use shift lock on pc pretty easy now use the tab key to toggle the leaderboard in your game you can actually just hide and show the leaderboard with the tab of button now using the f9 key you can actually access the developer console in the game if it is your own roblox game i don't know if this will show up if it's not your game but the dev console you can bring up with f9 key now tapping the escape key will bring up the menu you can just toggle the menu with the escape key so escape to open escape to close and then if you press the l key after using the menu you can confirm to leave the game you want to quickly leave the experience or the r key to quickly reset and respawn your character now you probably already know this but you can access the settings within the menu area so escape key and then go to the settings you can change the options and settings and enhance your gameplay experience now to open up your inventory your character inventory you can use the back column key now, i don't have any items or tools in this game but you can use the number keys to quickly equip and quickly just enable a item in a game so if you had a bunch of the items you pressed the five key it would bring up the item in number five slot Lot, but you get the idea there and then backspace to drop an item if it lets you do that in a game so you get that idea and then spacebar to obviously jump with your character to quickly open up the chat in games just press the slash key and you can type whatever you want I accidentally had caps lock on but to quickly send out a message just press the enter button after you're done so slash key to open chat enter key to enter in the message and send it out subscribe to the channel by the way just a reminder helps me out a ton and another thing too is using your mouse to control everything like you know you can zoom in and out with the scroll of the mouse so scroll forward to zoom in and scroll out to zoom out. You get the idea there. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And you can just mess around with the camera using the mouse mainly and right click to adjust the mouse. I think I said that at the beginning. To easily interact with the GUIs in a Roblox game, so just use the left click of the mouse. And this is the item buyer for the 40% method, but you get the idea. And then you can also scroll the way in with the mouse to go into the first person mode. You can also go into third person mode if you scroll out with the mouse. So use the scroll of the mouse so you do first person and third person on PC. Some other things I would like to quickly mention that the shift key might be used in some games to sprint so you can use the shift key to sprint in some games some games also use the e key to interact with certain stuff like opening doors or driving a car you might have to use the e key and the c key might be used in some games to crouch your character have your character crouch in a game so just keep those in mind that might be useful in some games and if you found this helpful subscribe to the channel smash the like button and join my roblox group super fans i'll see you guys next time and have fun playing roblox on pc